So what we have today is a non-starting Nissan Cuba Star. This is the DCI model, same as the Renault Kangoo. And uh, just show you what's happening. <clears throat> so turning over and no start. Already plugged it in. Uh, fault codes that are showing up is fuel uh, pressure is down so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the injectors and do a back leakage test and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that now so for the test I will be using these containers here they're just clear tubes and they measure the amount that comes out when you're doing a back leakage test on a non-starting uh, diesel engine what you will uh, need to do is keep turning over and see the amount that comes in um, when it's running it's a lot easier to do these tests but it'll be a, a bit of stop starting just to see the amount of fuel that comes through so we'll connect these up now okay so I've disconnected the uh, fuel return lines so it's these here them joints that go onto that just pull those off and we'll be connecting straight up to the injectors there there over here and I've taken it off on this side. So that's completely removed and I just clamped it there. So we'll hook this up, turn it over and uh, let's see what the results are. Okay, so I turned the engine over for a considerable amount of time and you can see there what the results are. Number one, number two, are uh, leaking through a lot. Number three is uh, minimal and number four is very little. So uh, we now know, let me just take that off. We now know that um, with those results that we will need to get them uh, injectors worked on. So um, either replaced or rebuilt. So I'm going to, um, the next thing I'll be doing here is removing the injectors and bringing them, bringing them down to, uh, to be tested, binge tested, and afterwards they'll be rebuilt, like I said, if they can be, or they will be replaced. Now, if you are carrying out this test and you just want to do a quick test, that is now the uh, back leakage test completed. And this is the kit that I was using. <coughs> so... If you didn't have the same type of injector set up as I have on that one, um, these are the fittings that you would be using for the other type. A few different types, and then for the non-start, you can also use the smaller tubes for, for measurement. Okay, so with all them tests complete, we have showed that the um, injectors do have excessive back leakage. Um, reason for that uh, can be an internal uh, erosion in the ball seat which causes the uh, pressure to drop off in the rail and for extra fuel to be returning through the lines um, basically so the next stage with this van will be to bring um, bring them injectors get them get them rebuilt or get them replaced pretty much you can do a bench test on them just to make doubly certain that everything is good but I'm, um, I'm pretty convinced with that test that uh, we do need to replace a minimum of two injectors. Okay, so that's the test complete. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.